This is actin. It spends its days working tirelessly in muscle tissues to support body movement, but it's vulnerable to heat and aggregation. When an electron comes in contact with actin, the actin molecule absorbs the electron and develops a charge. We call this supercharging. After supercharging, the actin undergoes mass spectrometry and a few other tests for heat resistance, aggregation and molecular structure. Supercharging makes actin more resilient against heat and aggregation and may even slightly change its molecular structure. So, hitting it with an electron makes it supercharged. But what about the electron's evil twin, the positron? Well, we don't really know, but we intend to find out.